When you die, how would you like your remains to be handled? When I'm dead just throw me in the trash. My dad used to say two things, dig a post hole and throw me in head first so the world can kiss my ass or cremate me and throw me in the well so I'll stay cool in hell he was a heck of a dude. My dad would say the same thing before he died a few days ago. We didn't know what to do so my older brother interpreted his wishes as wanting to be useful in the afterlife. We signed paperwork to donate his body to a medical school. We figured it's better that students learn hard lessons on the dead before treating the living. The school promised to send his cremated remains in an urn afterwards. My friend can sell my organs on the black market then use the money to buy cake or something. Did you mean coke? That'd be one hell of an expensive cake. Bury me? Fine cremate me? Fine throw me in the woods and let the animals eat me? Fine drop me in a dumpster behind McDonald's? Fine get fucked by the mortician? Fine but if you think you are gonna put me in an urn and keep my ashes on the mantle I will haunt your ass and ruin your life. Does it have to be a mortician and do you have to be dead? My grandma just passed in December. She wanted her ashes spread in the ocean. She told this to everyone for years, even in her dying days. My mom refuses to do it. I'm not putting her in the ocean with all the plastic and fish. No one seems to argue with her on it. So on the mantle she is. I intend to spread her in the ocean one day. I'd like to be mummified and cursed so that I might later rise and spread some sweet plagues. Being mummified is expensive. Frown. Okay forget my plans. This is what I'm going with. Drop me in the woods and let me rot. I want to return to be part of the cycle again not trapped in some fucking box. Me too, just bury me in our pet cemetery. Have your remains donated to a body farm. Not only do you get to decompose naturally, your decomposition gets used for research into the process of decomposition and the training of forensics and anthropology experts. I want to be buried in the deepest part of the largest Canadian forest. For a gravestone I want it to be two wooden boards in a cross shape with my name scrawled across it, then on one side of the cross I want my favorite jacket hung. Wow. Uh, dark. If I'm ever hiking and come upon two wooden boards with a jacket on it, I'll pull one out for you. Molly Mork. As cheaply as possible. I would like to minimize the financial impact of my passing as much as possible. Donate your body to a medical school. Your remains are cremated and returned for free. Some schools do water cremation, dissolved in hydroxide, and dispersed in the ocean. Underrated answer. With as much irreverence the undergrad med students can muster. May they make the dirty jokes that I cannot. That's the spirit. I'm prepared to donate my skeleton to a medical school if they can assure me it'll be used in some awesome pranks. I can already hear the jokes about microbiology for myself. Shot directly into the surface of the sun. No, Dr. Bright. I thought this was a Hodgins quote but the replies are A B T the logistics of this. They have a few companies that will cremate you and shoot you off into space and I couldn't imagine a cooler way to go. My grandfather and I used to shoot off professional grade fireworks when I was younger. The entire time I knew him he said that when he passed away he wanted his cremated ashes shoved in a firework shell and shot off over our local high school where he spent a lot of his volunteer time at. When he passed away two years ago we did just that. Is that, is that legal? That doesn't sound legal. Even with cremation, bits of bone and other matter remain. So some kid probably stumbled upon part of your grandpa's tibia or something. Well, after the cremation process, they put the ashes and bits of bone and stuff into an industrial blender, and then it is just a very fine powder. I want to be a tree. We sort of did that with my dad. We couldn't decide on what kind of tree to get so we just buried his cremains under a pine tree he helped us plant back in 1990 in our backyard. We placed a plaque and we are all very pleased with the decision. You can. Check out the living urn. Viking burial. 
I want my body to be shot with a flaming arrow while it's floating down a river. That's such a great way to go. Unfortunately it's not legal in Germany I think. For a second I thought I read I want my body shot like a flaming arrow. I want to be scattered at Disneyland Florida. I don't want to be cremated first though. I'll get the wood chipper fired up. Also, it will be $60,000 for this type of ceremony. Best way to do this, have your body strapped to one of the fireworks, could get you a nice even scatter. Natural burial. Wrap me in linen, put me in the ground. Let me go back to the earth. Cremation uses a lot of energy, emits a lot of CO2. Traditional burial uses a lot of resources, plus all the nutrients of your body are locked in a coffin instead of contributing back to the earth that those nutrients came from. Wrapping in linen is such a beautiful image. Love this idea. This is how I want to be buried too. I read, the smoke gets in your eyes, and it made me love the idea of a simple burial, going back into the earth. I want my loved ones, if they are okay with it, to dress me, and help lower me. No embalming, no casket, just linen, my family and the earth. I want my body put in a cryo chamber and shot into space. Hopefully maybe a few million years later I get discovered by an intelligent life form and brought back to life in a new time. Or just explode into pieces when hit by space debris. Either way it's pretty cool. I like this one. Sorta like the cliché of finding a caveman trapped in ice and then when it melts he escapes. Except this time in space. What I wish, I want to see the future. I always hoped to be vaporized where I stand, none of that undignified corpse business for me. So like, ingest as much nitro as you can and try to get struck by lightning. Cremated. Horrified at the thought of being buried. Agreed. Take my organs anything you need then incinerate what's left. Why? I want the bottom half of me cremated, so I can still have an open casket funeral and have my ashes spread as well. Speaking of my funeral, there will be an epic scavenger hunt leading to its location. The first to arrive get to call dibs on something from my estate, so find it fast for the best stuff, like my 158 sweater collection or my Nazi German Shepherd puppet from the TV show Danger 5. Once everyone is there, the celebration kicks off because my funeral is going to be a party with lots of booze, good food, and live music. I knew about half and half pizzas, but this is next level. You don't have to pick one or the other. They'll chill you and preserve you a bit for the showing, then burn you after, if you'd like. Neil deGrasse Tyson made a good point on a podcast, basically, when you get cremated all of your energy is wasted by burning, but when you are in the ground your energy gets utilized by the earth, bugs, bacteria, etc. Long-winded way of saying, burial in the ground, regardless I am dead so I won't know any different. Composted with a tree on top sounds pretty nice tbh. Unfortunately for most burials you're filled with formaldehyde and other embalming chemicals that make it very hard to decompose for years. Donated to a med school, science or something like that. Fun fact, your next of kin still receives your remains after they've finished using you for science. Same. I'm thinking the body farm in Tennessee. Donate organs. Give me to science if they could use me. Bury whatever is left in a plain wood box in a pretty cemetery. Plant catnip all over the plot. Have cat friends even in death. Husband's idea, because he knows how much I love fuzzy animals. Or oh, this is adorable. What a happy thought smile. If you donate to a med school, many require all the organs, makes sense, so you have to abstain from organ donation. I think both are noble causes. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.